After you have diluted your WBC unit pet, you should allow it to sit at room temperature for 10 minutes. There are various types of unit pets. They can be used for, as I said, the um, white blood cells. The diluent that is in the unit pet is either the ammonium oxalate or glacial acetic acid. D uh, unit pets for red blood cells, it would be basically an isotonic saline that is in that. And there are also unit pets you could do um, eosinophil counts and reticulocyte counts. The WBC unipet can also be used for manual platelets. Again, the different unipets have different size pipettes, so the amount of dilution is different. Example, the WBC slash platelet unipet, it's a 1 to 100 dilution. So once the unipet has sat at room temperature for 10 minutes, we are ready to load the next piece of equipment that's used in a manual cell count, and that is the hemocytometer. The Neubauer hemocytometer is the most common one that is used. It is a basically a slide that has gratings on both sides of the platen, and you can get your count then in cubic millimeters. You want to make sure that you clean your hemocytometer well before you load it with your specimen. So it's recommended to clean it with an alcohol prep and a lens paper. Clean the cover slip first. Clean it well on both sides. And immediately then clean with the lens paper. If you don't dry it right away, the alcohol will leave streaks. So it's very important to have these as clean as possible for a more accurate cell count. and then clean the platen of the hemocytometer the same way. And the cover slip is put on the platen right in the middle. To load the diluted specimen on, mix your Unipet well. You want to expel a couple drops of your diluted specimen onto your alcohol prep before you load the chamber. Put a small drop in the trough area and it will fill by capillary action. You don't want to put too big of a drop so you don't want to flood the chamber. Once it's loaded, then it should sit for a few minutes so the cells can settle before you count them. To keep it from drying out while it's allowed to sit, you want to put it in a small petri dish with a moistened gauze. And again, like I said, it is recommended that you would allow the hemocytometer to sit for a few minutes for the cells to settle before you do the count. And you would put do the count under 40x on the light microscope. And we will do another um, presentation on how actually to count your cells on the hemocytometer.